We begin in Cedar Rapids with tough questions facing the city after two weeks of violent crime. Since April 16th, there have been four shootings, one of them deadly, and a double stabbing. Kelsey Miners spoke with city leaders and neighbors who are working to curb the violence. He's live tonight in Cedar Rapids. Kelsey. Well, Tiffany, the recent violent def definitely a topic of conversation here at Council Chambers. Now, city leaders surprised by it. Residents, though, are tired of it. And as we went searching for solutions today, we only ran into more violence. It took a swarm of police officers to break up what looked like one large neighborhood fight near 16th Street Northeast in D Avenue. Such behavior. Such violence is not tolerated in the city of Cedar Rapids. But already this year, violence has plagued the city. Wednesday afternoon, a gunman fired several shots at a house near 4th Avenue and 15th Street Southeast. This after three are wounded near Kirkwood College. And a young man is gunned down outside of Woody's show club. One week there's a shooting, another week there's a shooting. Mm -hmm. We still have the interim police chief situation happening. Does that change? the focus for of your search does it amp up sure amp that up a that, that's a good question first of all what i'd say is our, our police department uh, is in great hands as far as its leadership certainly the events of uh, the last couple weeks uh, will be entering my mind as we do the interviews for for the next chief cedar rapidians aren't waiting they are organizing a stop the violence movement i actually have known some of the victims that have been shot um, and it was kind of like we need to do something. Their plan is to bring together the community with police and church leaders. There's a separation between the police department, citizens, churches and whatever. And I feel as long as we have that separation, we're going to keep having problems. City manager Jeff Pomeranz hopes to have a new police chief in place by September. As for that stop the violence movement, that will happen May 19th. You can continue to check our website for more updates on a place and a time. Covering the corridor tonight, we're in downtown Cedar Rapids. Kelsey Miner, CBS2 News. Thank